Hi everyone, my name is Wenda Lydia Warok from English Language and Literature Study Program, Faculty of Languages and Arts. This is my innovation videos. I hope you guys enjoy. Why being polite is important? It is important to be polite because it puts other people at ease and helps build strong relationships. Because when someone is polite, it makes us feel good. Being polite will improve your relationships with others and can boost your self-esteem and confidence and also improve your communication skills. Politeness helps us deal with people's self-image without creating unnecessary conflicts and damaging our relationships. And then with Maxim, we can learn about how to express in beliefs and avoiding impolite speech and can help people to maintain relationships with others. So there are six Maxim that Leech has stated. The first one is Tag Maxim and generosity maxim, approbation maxim, modesty maxim, agreement maxim, and sympathy maxim. Tag maxim. In the tag maxim, a speaker minimizes the expression of beliefs which imply cause to other, and maximizes the expression of beliefs which imply benefit to other. The main model of maxim that Leach has explained is to use a courtesy cost benefit scale associated with speakers and listeners. The first part in Tech Maxim is about not imposing on other people. For instance, overstaying your welcome, asking inappropriate questions, avoiding making people feel like they need to do something that takes away their freedom choice. And generosity maxim. In the generosity maxim, a speaker minimizes the expression of beliefs that express or imply benefit to self, maximizes the expression of beliefs that express or imply cause to self. So unlike the tag maxim, the maxim generosity focuses on the speaker. This maxim is about how the speaker should put others first instead of the self. So for example, you can say, you relax and let me do the dishes or you must come and have dinner with us approbation maxim in the approbation maxim a speaker minimizes the expression of beliefs which express this praise of other and maximizes the expression of beliefs which express approval of other it is preferred to praise others and if this is impossible to sidestep the issue, to give some sort of minimal response, possibly through the use of euphemism or to remain silent. This is about avoiding insults, backhanded compliments, and hurtful remarks. For example, I heard you singing at the karaoke last night, it sounded like you were enjoying yourself. Or I know you are a genius, but you know how to solve this math problem here? And Modesty Maxim Modesty Maxim is a maxim in which a speaker minimizes the expression of praise self and maximizes the expression of this praise of self. While Approbation Maxim focuses on the other, this one focuses on self. The speaker can aim to keep it casual, not overshare their achievements and abilities. For example, oh, I'm so stupid, I didn't make a note for our lecture, did you? Or you can say, oh my bad, I shouldn't do that. Being modest is about not being afraid to self-deprecate it. Now move to agreement maxim. In the agreement maxim, a speaker minimizes the expression of disagreement 
between self and other and then maximizes the expression of agreement between self and other like in this maxim minimize disagreement and maximizes agreement it's often more a case of really emphasizing the fact that you agree with something rather than totally avoiding disagreements closely they're inevitable but if you try to minimize disagreements minimize the impact that a disagreement has on a conversation and try to maximize the impact that agreement has our conversation and sympathy maxim sympathy maxim is a maxim in which a speaker minimizes antipathy between self and other and maximizes sympathy between self and other this includes a small group of speech acts such as congratulation commiseration and expressing condolences and for example I'm so sorry to hear about your father or you can minimize antipathy by expressing congratulations when someone succeeds to achieve something or goes through a positive life events or change you can say I knew you can do it so this video come to the end it's quite important to remember that this maxim can vary from culture to culture however these principles are quite universal seek to use them in your daily life thank you so much i hope this video helped